nurses, nurse rooms here. I'm a dialysis nurse here in the Philippines and welcome back to my channel where I upload videos all about dialysis and my journey towards discovering nursing career. We just finished two episodes from our dialysis access series about AVF cannulation and decannulation. Now we are moving forward to IJ or interjugular catheter access. So for today's video, I'm going to show you how to do first time IJ initiation, meaning newly inserted or fresh from the OR. Watch this. Make sure to prepare the materials. The sterile kit varies from the manufacturer or supplier that most likely contain gauze, cotton, PD, sterile pad, thong. Then you'll just add the additional 10cc and 5cc syringe for flushing and heplock. Soak cottons in betadine or alcohol, if not the swab ones. Since the patient has a newly inserted IJ access, we only need tapes to anchor and secure the sterile pad and I prepared 4 long tapes for that. Then sterile gloves with the packaging used as an improvised waste receptacle and of course clean gloves. Let's start. This depends on your protocol. We follow a semi-sterile setup so we don clean gloves then sterile gloves. FYI, we don't change the dressing for newly inserted IG catheters since the wound and the stitch are still fresh. Doing so may disrupt its healing. So cases like blood leak at the exit site may be expected but still needs observation and reporting to the attending vascular surgeon. So, we only remove the dressing around the ports or catheter lumen but not on the exit site. As we've discussed from the previous video, when removing tapes, support the skin with your fingers of the other hand while slowly lifting the tape. Once you've loosened the tapes up to the part of the lumen, you simply slide the gauze. Thus, there is a technique in covering this part that is not too tight nor too loose for the next nurse to easily remove it. Discard the dressing. When covering the catheter lumen with a sterile pad, I follow a surgical drape that has a center hole that exposes only the site. Let me demonstrate this for you. The under pad is usually folded this way like a small square. Unfold and until you end up in a longitudinal manner like this with the side flaps left folded inside. Fold vertically inside. You can see that the pad is divided into four parts. Fold the first part horizontally. Here's the edge sides of the pad, while well, this is the folded corner. This is where you tear a small piece of the corner drape. And fold it back and here's the hole. Let's try using this one. I created an improvised IJ catheter with the use of fistula needles. Simply insert the catheter lumens inside the hole and here you go. Now on to the actual drape. Then, I place the gauze underneath as a barrier from blood or fluid leaks and not directly on the pad. Detach the locks. We keep the locks for reuse and just soak it in hydrogen peroxide. Don sterile gloves. Cleanse the catheter ports with the cotton soaked in betadine starting from the opening, then onto the catheter lumen. Then discard. Using a 10cc syringe, remove the heparin lock solution around 5cc from each port. Then discard. Check patency of each port by withdrawing, 
then pushing it back again. If no resistance felt, then you're good to go. Prepare a cotton soaked in betadine when receiving the arterial line. Touch the line with cotton and cleanse the rest of the area. Connect the arterial line to the arterial port and open the port clamp while the code nurse opens the arterial line clamp and starts the blood pump. Once blood has fully circulated within the machine and reached the venous line, do the previous step when receiving it, then the same step follows. Close the under pad, tape, and secure. Remove sterile gloves of your non-dominant hand. You use your dominant hand with the sterile gloves when touching the supplies inside the sterile kit. Get the 5cc syringe and open the cap. With your non-dominant hand, get the heparin vial and withdraw 5cc heparin. Close the cap with the non-dominant hand supporting as shown in this video. Prepare also a flushing solution using the 10cc syringe. Arrange the supplies inside the kit. Do aftercare and discard accordingly. That's it. Hope you learned something from this video. If yes, don't forget to click like, leave a comment for some video suggestion, and of course, subscribe to my channel. Next up will be post-treatment IJ dressing. So stay tuned as I take you with me in discovering nursing career. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.